I'm Haley, and now it's time for CHS Today. Don't forget, if you are a senior and planning on participating in the graduation ceremony, you must order the cap, gown, and tassel and stole to participate in the ceremony. Orders can be done online through Herp Jones or through the packets you have received. The CHS academic teams will compete in their first virtual meet next Wednesday, January 20th. The meet will begin at 5.30 and team members are encouraged to be in the media center at 5 or earlier if individual coaches require it. Enter through the field house doors. See your team coaches to let them know whether you plan on attending and ask any questions. Dieter and Thespians are having a Zoom meeting today to discuss the upcoming spring play and memberships. You can get the code from L. Davis, Mr. Heisey, or by emailing Spartan Director at gmail.com. There will be a fine arts academic team meeting during SRE Today and JE220. There will be a French club meeting tomorrow during SRE and JE220. Students who are new to the ICE program this semester need to see Ms. Hughes at the front desk to pick up your information packets. Items are due to the Whitewater Career Center by this Friday. Last night, the House of Representatives voted on impeaching President Donald Trump on incitement of insurrection from last week's storming of the Capitol from his supporters. The votes from last night were 232 to 197. This marks the first time in the United States history that a president has been impeached twice. The next step in the impeachment process is a Senate trial on where they will vote to remove him from office just one week before his final day. Indiana has now received over 520,000 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. As of yesterday, over 200,000 users have received the first dose of the vaccine. 40,218 people are now fully vaccinated and that number is expected to rise since the state is expected to receive 79,000 doses of the vaccine each week. The vaccine has first offered to medical professionals and now has opened up to individuals who are 70 or older. Lunch for Monday will be beef lasagna, toasted garlic bread, mixed veggies, a classic American cheeseburger, and pepperoni pizza. It's still cold outside, now here's Sarah with your weather. Thanks, ladies. So heading into this afternoon, it's going to be about 43 degrees, and it's going to be cloudy. And heading into this evening, it's still going to be around the same temperature, and it's still going to be cloudy. But as we head into tomorrow morning, it's going to be around the 40s, and there's a partial chance of rain. Today, it's going to be the highest day, basically, for this whole week. And as we get into the rest of the week, the temperatures are going to start decreasing. But as we head into Saturday and Sunday, there's possible chances of snow, and it's still going to be cloudy all throughout the week. That's all for the weather, now back to the desk. Those interested in joining the track and field team need to join the track and field Google Classroom. The code is Z2ZUYGO. There is also a Google form that must be filled out by interested athletes. Preseason workouts will begin on Monday at 4 p.m. in the Columbia Hallway. The wrestling team is to meet in Mr. Heisey's room during the first 10 minutes of SRE on Monday and Tuesday of next week. Sports action for tonight is boys and girls varsity swimming away at Centerville. Birthdays for today are Brianna McDaniel, Brooklyn Merritt, Kirsten Morgan, Alex Rao, Carly Westerfield, and Peyton Bird. Birthdays for tomorrow are Jasmine Ray, Alan Stant, Kaylin Wiley, and Jeremiah Buchanan. There's 144 days left till graduation, and that's all for CHS today.